my New Year's resolution is to tell people who make New Year's resolutions to kiss my ass. You know damn well you're full of shit. And yes, I'm just getting over COVID so my voice sounds a little different. Good evening, citizens of the world. My name is Stiff Rockwood and this is Jizz News, coming to you from our parent company at the Spunk Network where we cover it all and give it to you hard and quick. This is Last Month in Music News, where we bring you sort of current music news from last month to distract you from your miserable lives. New Year, New Me, and all that other bullshit. We start the broadcast off with the baby. He estimates that he lost $200 million from the jobs he would have had had he not uttered homophobic comments at his set at the Rolling Loud concert in 2021. He ultimately thinks it was a good thing that happened to him and was better for him mentally and spiritually that he basically got canceled. He said to earn back the lost income, he's going to teach a college course on how to lie through his teeth like a mother. (laughs) Dave Grohl has released an extended live version of a 23-minute instrumental song called Play to 35 minutes. He's thinking about renaming the song to Pee Break. Any instrumental longer than five minutes should be used in CIA torture sessions. Forbes has given Taylor Swift the title of fifth most powerful woman in the world. Just beating her out and taking the top four spots was Brock Lesnar's daughter, Maya. Who's gonna tell her no? Forbes also dethroned Michael Jackson as the king of pop and gave the title to Bad Bunny. I'm sending Maya Lesnar to beat the shit out of whoever made that decision at Forbes. Stick to finance. Looks like Brock in a wig. No offense. A woman is suing Tommy Lee from Motley Crue for sexual harassment that allegedly happened in 2003 while they were on a helicopter ride. To be fair, Tommy's penis took up three seats, so it's kind of impossible to avoid it. Madame Tussauds has created their eighth wax statue of Harry Styles this year. They still have less wax used in them than one Madonna. Of course, no offense to Madonna. Dua Lipa invited her fans to talk with her through a text messaging service. Smart idea. It was the largest aggregation of dick pics in the known universe. Apparently, all of Dua Lipa's fans are horny middle-aged men. The most surprising thing from all of this is that all of those people think that they were actually messaging with Dua Lipa and not another 40-year-old man getting a free subscription of Pornhub as payment to act like a teenage girl. Doja Cat responded to accusations that she hates her fans by saying, One thing I do want to set straight is, you'll never see a direct quote of me saying I hate my fans. Not once. I know that people who get it, get it, and I'm fine with that. I don't have to explain my sense of humor and explain comedy to anyone. If people don't see the joke, then they just don't see the joke, and it's not my responsibility to have them understand. She then signed off from her fans by saying, Now go f*** yourselves, you piece of shit, disgusting, lowlife motherfucker. Just playing. Remember when I said this in the last music news video that covered November? All I want for Christmas is to stop hearing about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Quick, Kanye, do something crazy again. Well, it didn't take long. This is Kanye at a rave for his new album with Ty Dolla Sign and what looks like a black KKK hood. Thank you for never disappointing, Kanye. I knew I could count on you. This brings us to our wonderful sponsors. The Dua Lipa Dateline. Mmm, call in right away and go on a date with me, Dua Lipa. No, really, it's me. You want me? I want you, baby. My sugar's high, liver disintegrating. A chocolate cake? I'm flatulating. Eat Claire, 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 Claire. See? Just like on the record. I just have a cold. Doja Cat greeting cards. Have a friend or family member that's a fan of Doja Cat and has a fetish for masochism? These greeting cards are just for you. Get them for birthdays, holidays, weddings, and even funerals. Here's one of the many different birthday cards with inspiring words. I want you to enjoy this birthday because I hope it's your last one. Buy my album first before you die, bitch. Love, Doja Cat. Now go kill yourself. Now I'd like to document a story under the Who Gives a Shit file. Yes, I'm giving it attention, but who gives a shit anyway? It's the story that just won't die. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit has said that republication of the album cover Nevermind from Nirvana reconstitutes a new personal injury and resets the clock on limitations. I won't repost it here as to not make anyone feel inadequate. 
but I'm sure you've seen it before. Spencer Eldon, who was the plaintiff and young boy on the album cover, is now free to file a lawsuit whenever he feels like wallowing in his own insecurities about being compared to the USS Minnow and not the Titanic. He said the publication has brought physical, psychological, financial, and reputational damages upon him. The only way that's true is if the little dinghy still hasn't updated to a yacht. Get over it already. To claiming it's more about the motion of the ocean and not the size of the boat, I say, who gives a shit? Olivia Rodrigo says she's grown out of some of her older songs. She's 20 years old and is talking about her album from two years ago, people. What did she grow out of? Crying in a pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks while her boyfriend breaks up with her over TikTok? Damon Albarn is upset. Stop the presses. He's accused the Rolling Stones of objectifying actor Sidney Sweeney in their new music video for their song Angry. You mean arguably the biggest rock band from the 60s with their whole identity revolving around this logo objectifies women? Wait till he sees Sidney Sweeney in the TV show Euphoria. He'll get a kick out of it. It's very feminist friendly. Spotify laid off 17% of its employees from about the 9,000 that they have in total. It comes out to about 1,500 people. This is despite an 11% increase in revenue to $3.6 billion and $34 million in operating income leading to the company's first quarterly profit since 2021. When asked about the motivation behind the layoffs, CEO Daniel X said, It was time. I haven't said or done anything dickish in nearly a week. Kansas City Chiefs owner Clark Hunt and his wife Tavia Hunt Gifted Taylor Swift a bedazzled $5,000 Swarovski microphone purse for her birthday, proving that rich people have even worse taste than the poor's. Rapper Daddy Yankee has given up the devil's music for a life of simping for Jesus. He said that all these years he's been searching for something that's been missing for him to feel complete. Yes, a grown man's name. He said now he's going to enjoy everything that the fans have given him. All $50 million and several mansions worth. Funny how people wait 30 years amassing fame and money and groupies, and it's a miracle that they see the light after steadily dwindling record sales. Well, hallelujah, he's a changed man. Rihanna said that revealing that she was pregnant earlier last year when she performed at the Super Bowl was unexpected. She said that her jumper wouldn't zip up and she had to go out and perform, so she just left it the way it was. You could have covered yourself with a top at Yankee Stadium and people would have still known you were pregnant. Ted Nugent called Taylor Swift's music poppy nonsense with no fire and no sensuality and called it cartoon music. He then said he'd like to see a little bit more passion in her music like he had in his song Jailbait when he professed to wanting to get down with a 13 year old or his song I'm a Predator when he warns you that you better lock your doors. I'm guessing he wasn't talking about selling Boy Scout cookies. Think maybe Ted should just shut his mouth. Wham's song, Last Christmas, finally went to number one in the UK 39 years after being released. Well, I guess what I'm doing isn't for nothing. It should just take me until 2064 when I'm probably dead to finally see some results. Encouraging. Well, folks, that's all the news for now. You will like this video. Comment down below and subscribe. I'm Stiff Rockwood and this is Jizz News. You know what I always say. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Until next time. I just want to let you all know that I wrote the second half of these jokes while I had COVID and felt like my head was on fire. So please like the video or else you'll get the herps. It's only fitting.